Yo, Cream here, nine days till Sacred Mirrors launches. I'm excited, be excited, it's gonna be great. So I wanted to talk today about music videos. Um, so my day job is making wedding films with my wife, Tiffany. She helped me be able to monetize the skills I learned from being in a band. And the reason why I do video is because we needed to make music videos for Fallstar, but we never had any money. So I learned Premiere Pro, and then I had my friends who shoot photo, uh, just shoot, I guess, film the videos for me, and then I learned to edit. And that's how we do our videos, and that's kind of how we... Backdraft, we, we hired my friend David Borg Borges? Borges? I don't know. Because um, Facetown paid for that, which was very nice. Thank you, Facetown. And then, uh, yeah, since then, I just do it myself. And like, for Sunbreather, I, I procrastinated to last minute, and so then I just... Uh, had to shoot the videos myself so I put the cameras on a tripod and I added camera shake in the editing later on and then for the individual shots I just shot everybody without me and then I taught Brian how to use the camera and he handheld it and shot me doing it and um, I just have pretty simple gear like I have the Panasonic GH5 and the GH5S and the GH5 is awesome because handheld it just has this awesome stabilizer in it and so I, I, I have wrist problems, so I don't want to be holding like a steady cam the whole time. And then the GH5S is good in low light. And I kind of like the colors on that one a little better too. Um, yep, so that's how we make our music videos. And the way I look at music videos is I kind of see them as an ad for your band and for the song. And so, at best, a music video can also be like a work of art on its own. It can add to the song, it can like, kind of show who you are as a personality of a band. Um, but at worst, they're really freaking boring. So, I just wanted to get away from anything that could be boring. <laughs> and my band is super like goofy, and like we're, we're just funny, we're not serious people, like the Roys from Succession. So, with these next two videos that we did for Sacred Mirrors, I want to just do, have fun with them. And like, we have fun with a lot of videos, but some of them are like serious. And, and we did like five for Sun Breather. And like, I can never pick which song's gonna pop off. Like the two songs that did really well, like Cloud Chamber and King Laser, didn't have any music videos at all. Like Cloud Chamber didn't even have a visualizer or a lyric video. So I was like, eh, I can't pick. So let's just do two. There are a lot of work and I have to edit them all and stuff. And um, fortunately my buddy EJ was free and He's from the band 09. I actually did a song with them that you should check out. 09 is the name of the band. Um, but he came out and shot with us for these two videos. We did two videos in two days. Um, Morgan flew up. Uh, he practiced the drums so they looked believable because we've never played these songs together before. And then for guitars, we were just all like on the phone, like trying to learn them together. Um, but I just rented out a little studio in Portland and um, we did green screen for the um, Time Bender and the Jet Engine. I always had this idea of like being Godzilla or like just some goofy like <laughs> monster video destroying the city. So we finally got to do that. My plan was to do it with Chroma and we shot parts for it, but I just got kind of overwhelmed with that album release and that video never came out. Sorry, Kevin. Kevin Gilgan, my friend, helped us shoot the first part of it. We used some of those parts for like ads and for some content but that was supposed to be that video so we finally ended up being able to do it for time bender in the jet engine and so we just walked around the city found spots where we could be as a band but with like a, a sky backdrop for the big version of us and like i plan this out as much as i can but so much about music videos and like it's just run and gun just like figuring out what's gonna work as you go so when we got into this, so first day we were just walking around Portland doing the street candy thing. And the second day we were just in front of a green screen and just hoping <laughs> that whatever we shot in the green screen would work with the footage that we shot the day before. And I didn't know that until I went to edit. Um, fortunately, EJ is like really good with studio stuff. And whenever I shoot, I'm mostly outdoors. So he really helped the lighting. He actually brought his own lights, which was super huge for us. Um, and that ended up working out. It was a nightmare to edit. It was horrible. And like, even though I proxied the shit out of all the footage, 
my computer was still overloaded by it. So it just took forever, but it looks really cool. I'm pretty happy with it. Like that one scene where I'm shooting lasers out of my eyes took me like two hours. <laughs> Cause I had to manually punch each keyframe and my computer was really slow. And then for Crooks in the Dam, uh, I just wanted like a gross um, taking out our brains. Like the inspiration for that video was the cookie from Black Mirror where you split the consciousness of a person and half their consciousness, you know, stays as them and the other half gets put into this little device and its spirit gets broken <laughs> and it has to do whatever you say. So the idea was like, who would ever want to be stuck inside a mind that was built by another person is the chorus and so like, it's the idea of our, like part of our brain not be having control, like not having any agency or being separated from ourselves and like all these worldviews that you grow up with and you're learning to just get rid of those because it's kind of like you're on autopilot until you actually confront why you believe what you believe. So that's the basis behind that video. And I'm so happy with how it came out. Like I went to a prop studio, their props warehouse, and I rented all those medical devices. It was pretty dope. Like, I should have filmed when I was inside there because it was like wall to wall, ceiling to floor of just any prop you can imagine. And it was pretty sweet. So I went crazy getting all this medical stuff. And uh, I think it came out pretty cool. If you have any questions about how we film this stuff or um, any of the processes, check it out. And then if you're a band and <laughs> music video for bands is so expensive. So if you have any questions on how to make one yourself or where to get started, I'd love to help you out because I've been there. Anyways, uh, I hope you're stoked. This record is so exciting. Much love.